Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is Batman Last Rights, number 684. Um, what do you guys think about this? Uh, this is really, really un unessential, but the art's good. Well, what happened here is uh, they thought, hey, you know what? Batman's gone. Maybe we should answer a lot of really half-assed questions about what if Batman would be would be gone. Who would answer the bat signal? Yeah. Would it be Nightwing? Would it be awkward for Nightwing? Yes. yes <laughs> Nightwing shows up and is like, hey guys, I'm nowhere near as good as Batman. Can I still help? Because you guys put off the signal. And it's like, really? Commissioner Gordon and uh, whoever else from there are like, Flash. Ugh, Nightwing. Yeah. Man, yeah, he's not as good as Batman. Nightwing's like, I can hear you. It was probably, yeah, it was probably the most awkward, like, three or four panels there is. It was just like... It's, I don't understand. This is clearly a fill-in story or fill-in issue that they jury-rigged to make some kind of tie into Batman R.I.P., but it totally doesn't matter. Also, it's clear that Denny Peel hates Nightwing. Yeah. That makes he is the stupidest character at all, you see. Yeah. You may be right. Wow. Wow. See, I like Nightwing. That's why I feel bad. I mean, Batman is like in a machine somewhere in this last arc, having a dream. So you don't really... <laughs> that's true. And, uh, Comics. <laughs> and so there's this whole, like, who's going to take over for Batman next? And they just did that a few years ago, so it's kind of a frustrating thing across the board. And then this is just doubly frustrating. Nice. So uh, pick it up. Uh, let's move on to talking about Incognito, number one, by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. Uh, sort of a deconstructionist supervillain tale. What do you guys think about this? Well, the, I, I very much enjoy Brew Baker and Sean Phillips. I feel like they really do an amazing job of storytelling with the, the criminal aspect. But the problem is criminal was so enjoyable for me, it was really hard for me not to look at this as like criminal part two. Or, you know, it's supposed to be its own separate thing. I wish they would have tried to separate it a little bit more. Well, but it, no, it's supposed to. We've already talked about this. I know we have. No, no, we have. <laughs> um, this is all fresh. It's all very fresh. We can have conversations. We do have conversations. We talk a lot Often. about conversations. Yeah. Uh, this is supposed to be criminal part two. I mean, it's supposed to be. Well, then why call it incognito? That's my problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, All right. Wrong. Man. Sorry. Uh, they talk about it in the back. They say they want it to be part of a pulp line of comics uh, that fit in together and all kind of look very similar to each other. Hey, Peter David, what are you doing over there? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, this is fun. I mean, it's, 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 it's fun. I mean, you know, I think you guys are taking this thing way too seriously. Uh, that could be this, set for this a lot of life. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's my life. It's your hobby. Oh. Oh. All right. I, I gotta go to the back. <laughs> Bring out the ladder. Yeah. No, uh, ser seriously. Yeah. I earn my living. At, I mean, I, I, I look at these in a totally different way than you. And I earn my living doing this stuff. And I'm reading this over and I'm going, this is... This issue is not meant to be taken seriously. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 a it's a silly, fun story that's not meant to be taken seriously. I don't know. Maybe the art's too good because that's gorgeous art. Art's great. Yeah. If yeah. this thing were illustrated by Sergio Aragonés, we would not be having this problem, right? Yeah. That's totally the good. art is so gorgeous that it then makes you take the story seriously, and it's not really meant to be taken seriously. No. It's fun. It's silly. Yeah. I you definitely... pick that up. You pick that book up. You read it. You're going to be laughing. Is everything they're saying correct in terms of the dynamics of exactly what happens? Yeah, absolutely. Everything you said is absolutely true. But it's funny. It's a funny story. It's a silly story. It's, it's you know, I really can't say anything more about it than that. It's just something you just can't get that worked up over. I mean, you, you got about so the diner. Up. There's a hostess. So what? <laughs> There's a wonderful diner, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. Oh, we hear you talk about diners all day long. You there's, a great, there's a great diner in New Jersey <laughs> called Mastori's, right off of Exit 6. They have fantastic baked goods. They're in Bordentown. You go in there, yeah, they have a hostess. Now that I think of it, maybe this takes place there. Yeah, that's a good point. Could be. Um, pick it up. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> P-O-R-I-S, Mastori's in Bordentown. Check out the baked goods. The cheese bread is fantastic. <laughs> Got to love the baked goods. Cool. Uh, I, I agree with you that it can be silly, but I, I don't think it's silly in a way that it's not as funny to me. 
Like now, that's 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 perfectly acceptable. Okay, because you are. I mean, no, I no, I t I totally understand that. That's that's totally reasonable. Humor is is incredibly subjective. Incredibly, humor is much harder than drama. Much harder because everybody finds, by and large, the same things to be very serious and very difficult. Humor is so different to different people. I found that funny. You didn't. I totally get that. Totally. The battle of the pizza is ending. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last but not least, we're talking about X Force number ten. This has been one of our favorite titles. Uh, what do you guys think about this issue? This is awesome. It's fantastic. Uh, it's high octane. It's Wolverine cutting stuff up. Ghost Rider shows up and it's cool instead of Lane. <laughs> uh, yeah. I it, what's interesting about this is there is a lot happening in this comic. Instead of dealing with maybe two storylines, there's three or four going on here. And a lot of times when you have different storylines going on in one comic, I get upset where I was like, oh, I really want to know more about what's happening in this story. I'm more into this story than the other story. <laughs> I really like this character more. But they do a really great job of setting up characters and having them be uh, likable in certain different ways, but you're into all the different storylines. It's very impressive. Uh, Kyle and Yoss are gonna yeah. be, they're gonna break through in 2000. They do an incredible <laughs> job with this. Oh, that's uh, they do a great job. A moment in honor I just wanted to take a moment and tell you guys that I like Justin. <laughs> uh, Finally. Cool. But I, just, I just want to clarify something. Yeah. When I said before, and seriously, comic books are your hobby, they're my life. Mm -hmm. By that I mean, quite simply, if comic books went away tomorrow, if, at which it's not impossible, if Diamond Comics oh, no. folded, I mean, have a problem, right? Yeah. But if comic books went away tomorrow, you guys would find another hobby. I'd go back to medicine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we have a show called Club here. Tuesday night at night. If comic books went away tomorrow, I'd be in deep trouble. <laughs> you know, so. Do like a motion fashion jar around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what's happening tomorrow. No more comic books. Oh, oh my god. Scott oh, Witch. He's going to whisper no more comic books. Oh, no. <laughs> to another. That was really inside joke. I mean, nerdy things. So. Uh,